along with some really cool dinosaurs and really cool three and three quarter inch figures. We're going to be having a look at some Jurassic World Matchbox cars, which, yes, are also very cool. Cannonbolt. Going to be looking at five of these, actually, and there was no sense in actually having them looked at in individual reviews. So five goes through this entire video. Uh, these are all from the new Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, coming to us from the folks over at Matchbox, who are also produced by the folks over at Mattel. Thank you to the folks over at Mattel, by the way, for sending these my way. We're going to, again, get these all opened up. Package-wise, they're all pretty much the same outer package. The interior, of course, will vary depending on the vehicle. So, say, for example, you've got the armored action truck on your left, and on here you've got the Mercedes-Benz G550. Um, they do put the names of the, the vehicles on the sides, but they are very small and very hard to read. I wish that they had actually put them up at the top there. This is what it looks like on the back. It gives you a couple of other ones that you can pick up, but it doesn't list all of them. It only lists like a few of them, for example. Like on this one here, we only list the truck and the uh, genomorph. What's it called again? The gyrosphere. I, can't, I always keep forgetting the gyrosphere. But we're going to have a look at all of these. Uh, this is the armored action truck, and uh, again, so on and so forth. Uh, we're going to open these one at a time. Now, I thought to myself, instead of actually just taking a break or pausing, and so to speak, and coming back to opened vehicles, I'm just going to open these up per package, and then we can have a look at them and enjoy them together. So the first one here is the 14 foot, at the right, or the 14. <laughs> Should have had a V8. The 14 Mercedes-Benz G550. No, it's not 14 feet. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Again, just getting my fingers in there. Somebody, a couple of people have asked why I just don't simply open things on camera. Well, here you go. This is this is just for you. Popping it out. And you'll have to excuse me. I'll keep the packaging nearby just so I can actually be able to uh, go back and name this correctly when I'm talking about it. So again, the Mercedes-Benz G550. Nice looking vehicle here, all in silver. Uh, down below you've got, uh, it says, I can't make that out. It says either P-O-P -P or F-O-P. Yeah, you know me, official use only. I have to get my eyes checked. I think it says P-O-P. -P. It says five on the back there as well. Uh, they do feel like they're plastic rather than metal. Uh, maybe the top part is metal. The undercarriage is definitely plastic, as well can be said for the wheels themselves. Very nice looking vehicle. You got your spare tire on the back. You even got the Mercedes logo on the back there as well. Very nice. And the underside, would it actually tell me? It does tell me. So I may not actually need the packaging. I realize I probably have said actually a lot. 14, the 2014 Mercedes-Benz G-Class. Made in Thailand. Vehicle rolls uh, well, relatively well. Assuming this is my first attempt at trying it, which it was. It does roll relatively well. Again, you've got the plastic tires. Overall, though, very nicely painted. Or, for the very most, the deco is very nicely applied there on the sides. Slightly tinted windows as well. For a second, it actually looks like there's patrons riding inside the vehicle. But I think it's actually just, it's just the seats. But it does kind of look like there's people in there. I know it's, I don't think it's people. It's just the backs of the chairs. Okay, put that right, right down there. I wanted to look at that one first because I think that's, of the five that we're going to be looking at here, I think that's kind of the least interesting. Not to say that, you know, a Mercedes is not interesting, but... When you start looking at, say, comparing it to the armored action truck, well, now you're getting pretty cool with the larger, more armored up vehicles that inhabit the Jurassic World Kingdom. Let's go ahead and get this one opened up here. These, by the way, are now available in retail stores, should you be wishing to pick this up for yourself. Again, not feeling very heavy. I'm thinking, like, the top part of the vehicle here is... Does, I don't know why scratching it is the best indicator, but it does feel like it is plastic. 
a very heavily armored vehicle. Looks like some back storage area, perhaps for a dinosaur. Some stair stairwells there. A six-wheel moving vehicle. And this one does not say underneath what it is. I guess because there isn't a lot of space between one set of tires and the remaining four sets or two sets of tires on the back there. Larger tires, but they do they do feel plastic. In fact, actually, this one felt like it could be metal. This one feels like it could be probably the majority of it being plastic. Again, you've got some deco added in there as well. Zero five, some painted in there of the red. Coloring is very nice. A nice large vehicle. We'll put that one down there. Okay, put those two side by side. Now let's have a look at the gyrosphere. Depending on when I've uploaded these, I've already had a look at the uh, the gyrosphere that came with, I believe, Claire. Kind of a cool little vehicle that you could actually put the little characters into. This one, you cannot. Scale-wise, we kind of just look at it. Well, okay, you know what? We'll grab it compared to the Mercedes. Seat-wise, it's roughly the same size, so it does look like it's to scale. And like with the gyrosphere, as you rotate it, the seats auto-correct. It always stays upright. It does make a little bit of a squeaky noise. Sounds like there's a little mouse inside. I do like that it has metallic blue on the interior. Somewhat metallic blue on the outsides. Kind of more of a muted plastic here. And the plastic itself has been given a slight translucent blue. The plastic itself is translucent blue. Does it roll? Well, it, it rolls as best as a gyrosphere could roll. Kind of a little on the wonky side, but very nice little added bonus. It's nice when companies, say for example like Matchbox, give you, don't just give you the vehicles. Like anybody would be thrilled to pick up a vehicle from Jurassic World, Jurassic Park. But when you get these, these really interesting little side vehicles, like for example the Deep Dive Submarine, you get a lot of vehicles like this, which I think is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get this one open up. Price point may vary picking these up if you pick them up from, say, uh, like a Walmart or other retail stores like that. These will probably set you back a little over a dollar. So they're really inexpensive if you want to add, well, really start building a collection. One thing I really like about getting die cast cars is that uh, they are inexpensive. So, you know, if you want to pick up a Batmobile here or, for example, a submarine there, you can pick them up and they're only about a dollar, dollar fifty at the very most. I guess it, unless you get the, the larger vehicles, then they're a little bit more expensive. But So this one's got what looks to be a serrated saw blade on one side and a capture claw on the other. It kind of makes use of the same translucent, although this one's a little bit more green. It may very well be that the dome is blue, but being that the interior is, is yellow, that's colors for you. That would give you green, so it's probably just the interior that's making the outer cockpit, the outer bubble dome here, look as if it's more green. If I tip it slightly to the side, you can see it's more closer to blue. Cast in what looks to be, again, I'm tapping it away. It doesn't feel like it's metal. It feels like it could be plastic, so I'm going to say cast in yellow plastic and with the, un the interior, the underside, the underbelly of it being cast in a gray plastic. This one happens to say submarine. Also says Matchbox, made in Thailand. Nothing really moves on it. I don't expect anything really to move on it, but nice little vehicle, nice little side vehicle here. And lastly, there is possibly more vehicles out there. If they are, I'm gonna see if I can try to pick them up. And the last one here is the 2010 Textron Tiger. What a neat name for a vehicle. Again, you got your picture up at the top there. Blue is screaming at it, saying, What a cool vehicle! <laughs> Let's go ahead and get it opened up. And then on the back, again, it only shows two vehicles, as opposed to... I'm, I'm surprised they could have easily used the same back card for all of them, which would have featured all the vehicles, and of course your warning signs, and don't eat this, don't swallow the vehicle, don't feed it to your dog. Go ahead and open up the last. 
last, last package. There we go. It's kind of liberating just to uh, just to open up a packaging on camera. Might maybe consider doing that with some other videos as well. So this one kind of reads to me like a a bank pickup armored vehicle. I know it's obviously not going around picking up cash. <laughs> I don't suspect it is, but it definitely has that same sort of vibe to me. I keep wanting to say it feels like metal because it does. This one has weight to it, as well as this one had weight to it. Whereas the other vehicles, especially like even the larger one, you would think the larger one would feel heavier. But surprisingly, this one here on the side, this one here, the Textron Tiger, does feel a little heavier than this one. So again, this one could. I think this one is just strictly strictly plastic. Uh, on the side, we've got iGen. Very small little areas that have been painted. You've got the bars on the sides of the door been painted in black. A little uh, signal light on the side been painted in in orange. Other than that, it doesn't really look like there's a whole lot of other paint. They've gone to, once again, the uh, the windshield as well as the side doors being in more of uh, a translucent blue plastic, which seems to be pretty consistent with the other vehicles. Much larger tires as well. They are free rolling. Rolls perfectly fine and uh, you've got yourself the uh, the armored bumper on the front on the back I don't I don't know if I would say this one is my favorite but I think I like it a little bit more than the Mercedes of the of the two uh, so one of my favorite vehicles of, I would say is probably the armored the action armored truck Although it's a shame that it doesn't feel like it's made of metal. A little bit of extra weight could have gone a long way, I think, for this. And being that Matchbox get very creative when it comes to their releases, uh, pretty cool that we also get ourselves a little submarine. Let me know down below, guys, what is your favorite vehicle of the ones that we looked at today? Uh, by the way, again, if you are looking to pick these up for yourself, you can find them in retail stores, Toys R Us, if you still have a Toys R Us, and other toy places. Uh, today we were having a look and having some fun because we were opening these things up on camera, something I don't do nearly enough. If you guys would like to see more of that, let me know down below in the comments section. But we we're having a look at a variety of Matchbox cars from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And even though the movie isn't out yet, these ones are. So if you're looking to pick these up for yourself, you should be able to find them now on pegs. If you guys also want to go back and have a look at some of the other Jurassic World uh, reviews, both figures, vehicles, and all the other good stuff, uh, you can check out my playlist that's called Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Make sure you also hit that little subscribe button down below. It'll guarantee you that when new videos are coming onto this channel, you'll never miss out. And that's sad when you can miss out on things. When it was literally like right there. You missed out but don't miss out hit that little subscribe button down below more videos guys will be coming your way as always thanks for watching see you next time